Okay, that was a waste of diamonds, but well, whatever. Full iron skeleton. Hey, no, don't you kill my iron skeleton. Really? This is Minecraft Hardcore Season 3. Well, let's gather some wood. Now, some basic food, we're gonna go find a village. So I'm thinking we go this way. Changed my mind, that's a lot of ocean, so I don't think there's a village, but there's land over here, so let's go this way. It's a turtle! Um. Oh no, where do the turtles go? Huh. Womp womp. Now, since we got some iron, we can craft this food and get to caving. Bro, that's a lot of diamonds. Bro, how many diamonds was that? 10 diamonds. Okay, that is insane. I think Bro's trying to escape. Too bad. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not actually gonna do it. I did it. I just wanna check it out, see what's going on, all right? Not a big deal. Maybe it is a big deal. Okay, I got the gold from the bastion. That's that's all I'm doing. And that could have been dangerous. Let's get rid of this lava. Ah, that was a stupid idea. Huh? Okay, there's a piglin brute, but we got armor on, so we can probably take him. Huh? We're just gonna check around. We're not gonna do anything yet. Also, we crafted this into diamond. Oh, you took my pants, bro. We got some diamond leggings, so now we got full diamond and armor. Huh. That I'm never doing again. But you gotta hit subscribe for that. Hey, another bash. Oh, did I just circle around? I did just circle around. Parkour. Parkour. Oh, I failed that. Hey, come on. Aw. Okay, I need to stop being stupid or else I'm gonna die. Okay then, well, we found a fortress. Now, normally I would try to get fire resistance, but we got full diamond armor, so we should be good. We can just be super careful and then maybe survive. I'm gonna pick the one that's enclosed so not a lot of them escape and start fireballing me. Onto fire, or into fire. I feel like that's the same thing. Okay, we got 12 blaze rods. Now we can go back to the base or the village. Now, temporarily, I'm gonna pick this house to live in. There's a librarian, so you will be staying in here with me. Come back, come back. Get back in. Get back in the house. Go in the house. Now you are gonna give me protection four. I should probably gain the emeralds first, so like get at least nine emeralds and 24 paper. We only have 14 paper. So let's go do that real quick. So we got all the sugar cane placed down, but now we're gonna need some gravel. So let's go down here. Now we have 10 gravel. Yes, I only have nine because I got flint from one. Now we're gonna turn this into flint. There's 10 flint and five fletching tables. So now we're gonna wake these stupid guys up. Did you seriously, where'd he go? Oh, they're up there. Oh, perfect. Oh, I don't know, that iron golem's getting annoying. Perfect, now we got some sticks. Now where's that stupid iron golem? Did he already die? I think he might have died. Since I've only played an hour and a half in this world, and I do want to keep my streak of not sleeping right here and sleep just to get the advancement but not skip through the night. Whoa! Yo! Bro, why is there so many zombies? There has to be a spawner somewhere. I don't think zombies can spawn that much. I'm here in Gollum. Can I have some help, bro? Um, can you help me? Please. Thank you. Alright, now let's try to get protection.
Now, since we have protection for and mending, we're just gonna mine down these trees so much to get a lot of sticks and then get protection for and mending. We're gonna start with just getting protection for. We'll get mending and a breaking later. Now we get the main part in trying to defeat the end dragon, which is we need ender pearls. There's two ways we can get ender pearls. We could either trade for them or we can kill Enderman. The safest way is probably to trade for him, but who likes the safest way? Not me. Luckily, we spawned straight in a warp forest. Okay, that's really good. I swear this is not stage. Let's get away from this bastion. I don't like being here. Do you think we could probably trade for some pearls? We only have four pearls, which is not that good, if I'm being honest. So we're gonna go in this bastion and just kind of see if there's anything here. You Enderman. Alright, come this way. No, no, come back, come back, come back, take it. The right over there. Gosh, stupid piglins. Ah, get back in there, get back in there. My golden apple. Well, I lost my golden apple. <gasps> Is that a soul speed book? Soul speed too, we don't need that. Fine, you're dead. And it burls. No way, we got soul speed. We got soul speed three. Okay, that's really useful. Any more ender pearls? We literally need like four more ender pearls and then we should be good. I give you one more stack of gold. My golden apple returned. Somebody stole it. Now, I'm pretty sure if I go right here, I am always correct, guys. Let's clear our inventory. We can turn this into blaze powder. Now we got 14 blaze rods. And then two into that. And you ready? Where is it gonna go? Okay, okay, okay. So it's around that way. But first, we're gonna grab some food and make a bow. Now since we got basically everything we need, we can go ahead and defeat the Ender Dragon. I miss that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's all we need. We got a lava bucket, actually. Alright, still this way. Um, please don't give me mining fatigue. You don't see me! Ow. No way! There's no way it's right here. It's seriously right underneath the ocean monument? Okay, that gives me an idea. Let's hope we don't get mining fatigue, because if so, we're going to have to completely get rid of that ocean monument. And I don't exactly feel like doing that yet. Whoa, bro! Okay, that's cool. Yes! Finally! Get rid of that. I'm thinking of opening it. It's a 12 eyes. So we have enough ender pearls, but there's one thing I Have great idea with this base with the end portal underneath it, which would look so cool Screw it. We're opening it We got golden apples. We got water bucket. Screw it Please be inside. Okay, it's not there's one two three four There's one another one Another one Take aim with the Ender Dragon. I can make this. I can make this. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? We're just casually fly through obsidian. Oh my gosh. Come down already. Come on, level 69. Here we come. Aw, level 67. Okay, let's check it. You come here. You guys ready? Achievement. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I need my water, actually. All right, water has been acquired. What? 360. You are gonna die. Oh, okay, goodbye. Dang it, this is almost perfect pair of boots, but it's cursed binding. Are you guys ready? Elytra, let's go. I can fly now. Turn this into paper, this into rockets. Then we'll get rid of that, we don't need that. Okay, let's go. I thought I didn't have my electro on, but I did. I'm just being stupid. Okay, where is... I think it's this one. Aha, here it is. And we are in. New. I haven't seen the screen in a while, bro. Well, let's put the dragon egg right here. 
So we have full protection for diamond armor, but we need mending. Luckily, my mending villager here sells it for 12. So we're gonna grab some more books, make a diamond axe. Now there's one thing that I want, is I really want a totem, because I don't want to die in this world. I've gone way too far in this world. So we've got a pillager outpost, and we are going to try to get a totem. Let's go! Not even like a minute later, we get a pillager captain. Voluntary exile. Okay, we're going to have to get more gunpowder. But there's a village right over here, so we can start the raid. We got this bow, so we can get rid of most of the things. Sorry, villagers, but I'm starting a raid. I will fight you guys. Oh, that's a lot. Guys! Guys, get in your beds. You're gonna die. There's three. Yo, bro, come here. Let's fight him. Whoa, whoa, iron boy. Help me. Last guy. There's two iron golems now. Let's go. I get double the help. Oh, I have a bow. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, there's a ravenger. Ah, uh, run. Um, come back. You're out of the raid zone. I'm not fighting you out of the raid zone. Screw you, spider. I got him. And I got a saddle so I can bring the camel back to my base. Come on, come on. Totem guy? Not yet. Ah. Thank you for healing me. You dare give me weakness and poison? Ah, they're gonna kill me. Are you gonna go for the witch or not? Whoa. I only lost half a heart, but I feel like I'm gonna die. And I'm almost out of food. Oh no, a villager died. Oh, thank you, Angal. Let me kill them. Oh, I don't like this. Should I get an achievement? I did. Why no to- There's a totem guy. One guy left, but where did he go? He was just here. I look like a porcupine. There he is. Oh, they killed all the villagers. Aw. This is all your fault, Iron Golem. Well, I lost a raid. Kind of disappointed. Oh, camel. You're coming with me. Oh, I'm a thousand blocks away! Bro! So first, we're gonna start building my house. And we need this guy to go underground because he is not safe up here. So let's take him down. Now he's all- Oh no, the wandering trader's dying. I don't know how that wandering trader survived. What do you sell, bro? You sell nothing good. Oh no, where'd he go? Oh no, his camel also gone. Whatever are we gonna do? Anyways, we need to get rid of this build. And there's two ways we can do it. Oh, it's raining. I can't burn it. Dang it. Well, I can't burn it, so we're gonna have to mine it down. I did not mean to turn that into planks. Okay, I have an idea. If I take these oak logs, we can make a frame. Now we can come up with a roof style. I'm thinking we go out like this, then up, then something like this, and that does not look correct. I'm thinking instead of using some stripped oak logs, we use some stripped spruce logs, and then fill this in with some wool. Then we can do a design like that maybe. But we'll have to change this up here so it ends with a stair, so we can do stair, slab, stair, stair, slab. Something like that could work. And we're already out of wool. In the meantime, let's go grab some more sand. Hopefully six wool is enough to finish it. We literally need two more wool, bro. Obviously, we're gonna have to craft some spruce doors. Now, since we have some glass, we should be able to turn this into some glass panes. And we get 16 of them. So we can place all the open holes right here except there then we can also break out these and place some glass there i just suck at placing glass apparently now i'm debating putting them here but it's worth a shot there's our little hut 
something that could look good is if we get some trapdoors. Or we could place them there. Oh, but then they don't go down. Now things that some look some things that look good. Oh I clicked out of the Minecraft. Is if we place signs right here. Nah, I don't like that. Call me crazy, but I do like the look of chiseled bookshelves on the floor. So we're gonna place some chiseled bookshelves on the floor. Now there is one thing, I like adding pressure plates so the door closes behind us. But yeah, that's the tiny issue, is the open trap door. So we're temporarily just gonna get rid of this trap door. Haha. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's a little tiny hut. Now we're gonna move on to the next house. This is gonna be... We'll figure it out, but it's gonna be something that has some hay bales on the top. I just think that could look good. So let's burn it down. The house is officially gone, and now let's create a design. This is gonna be a little bigger house. So we're gonna temporarily get rid of this wheat. Now, this looks like a complete mess, but trust me, I know what I'm doing, kinda. Now we can outline the building with some oak planks. Now we're planning to have this a balcony, this just a random place to stand. So we'll place the next pillars. Uh, so let's do a tower. Maybe that could work. Now since we didn't have the basic outline of the building, we need to create the outline of the roof. So I have now 16 stone bricks. And I'm thinking up here we use wool, but down here we use stone bricks. And we're out. We're gonna wait here for a while. Why this smelts. Boop! There is the house officially done. Well, once the water's gone. Oh wait, I forgot I have windows. There's a bell. There's a bell. We ran out of sand, so we need to grab some more. Now, since we got all the glass, we can place some glass here. I missed that. So we got two main houses done. I still think the roof looks a little weird from the sides. But at certain angles, it doesn't look out bad. I feel like that looks a lot better. Now, something that could look cool is if we get some quartz, because I'm planning to build a church house next. Oh, um... That was so risky! Since we're at the bathroom, we might as well grab some chains while we're here. Okay, there is quartz there. We don't need a lot of quartz, so we might as well get some. Yeah, we're gonna need more. I feel like a stack's probably good enough. 20 quartz? Probably good enough. Alright, let's light this on fire. But we're gonna mine down these oak logs, because I do need them. Now we've got some stripped spruce logs, so we can create an outline of this building. So this is the kind of roof that we got, and I'm thinking we could add either calcite or wool, but since I don't know where a calcite thingy is, we're just gonna use wool. We can also grab some cobblestone, get rid of this also. We basically didn't really need much cobblestone, but we can just add a layer right here of cobblestone. Then right here, fill this all in. We should have enough to fill it in. Then we got kind of archway, and thinking instead of using wool, we just use this. Then right here, we can have some quartz. And then some oak logs could go here. And then for the roof, we don't want to see the top there, so we're just going to create some oak log roofs. Then we're going to create some windows right here. Probably shouldn't have turned all of that into planks, because I'm building another house, so we require normal logs. Yeah, it'll be fine. Can I help you, sir? No? Okay, goodbye. Oh, he's coming back. I think that finishes up for this house. Let's just see how it looks so far. This village is looking pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 houses left. Well, there goes the totem. I completely forgot I did not have feather falling. So we stole all the wood from this house. Now 3, 2, 1, and boom, it is on fire. So here's the basic outline done. Now we're going to try to work on the roof. So I'm thinking we do something like this, and maybe like this, same thing on the other side. There's the giant roof complete. Now we're gonna do the other side here, which I'm thinking we do something similar to what we did with, I think, that house and the house back there. Then we can go down, so it slopes up, and then we can do one more right here. Yeah, I like that. My house! My villager! Hey, give me that back! This guy's gonna be trapped here until I fix the house because I'm too lazy to fix it right now. Oh wait, I can't open that chest then. Uh, hold on. Now he's fixed. Now normally I would use snow instead of wool, but the only issue is I don't think I've ever seen snow in this world. 
And I don't feel like going 20,000 blocks just to get some snow. It's reasonable again. Don't shoot my sheep. These are my torture sheeps. Oh, that's a creeper. Ah! Baby zombie! I'm gonna run away. Sheep, I need five more wool. I mean, seven also works. And you creeper are not gonna blow up my sheep. Now we're gonna outline this wall with some cobblestone and a mix of mossy cobblestone. No, I'm out. Luckily, I got slabbed, so we'll just use those instead of normal blocks. Honestly, this isn't looking half bad. So, so far, we have four out of 15 houses done. So we need to focus on the ones that are similar to each other and ones that are different. We're gonna start with the ones that are different from each other. We'll mark out the ones that we're gonna do. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we're gonna start with doing this house. Now, since we got some wood, we can create a quick outline. Now I filled in these walls with some oak logs. Now we can strip them. Now we can mix in some oak blocks to see how that looks. Just to kind of detail the wall. Add some windows and grab some more oak logs. Now the walls are detailed, we can add a roof, which I'm thinking we go this, then down and then back up, maybe. We could do something like this and then for this we can go up and then down. Then we can do the same thing on this side. We can add some wool right here. I just realized we forgot to do the back, but towards the back, we can just do a simple pattern like this. Then we can add a roof right here. Then on top of these spruce planks, and we'll do right here. We'll do right around, we'll do right around this middle, going up. Then we can go four up here, here, and here. Then we can add stairs down here so it kind of connects. Then stairs on top with slabs going there. We can connect these up, then we can create a kind of roof. We'll see how that looks. Honestly, it doesn't look half bad. We can take blocks of quartz and place it right here. Then maybe some stairs could go good right here. Then we can place some spruce fences, but we're out. So let's go grab more. We can add trapdoors here so it looks like it is holding in the spruce trapdoors. Same thing here. Now something I've always wanted to use in builds is composters. I've always thought those were a cool block. And I'm thinking we place them on the tops here. Trapdoors could go, you know, oak trapdoors would look really good on this. But we're gonna do the same thing on this side first. But we're out of stairs. So we need to grab more. Now we're also gonna need to grab some trapdoors. So we're gonna turn this oak logs into trapdoors. And we can place trapdoors here. So you can still see the composter. We'll do the same thing on this side. Bro, my villager! Whoa! There's the house. Now there's something I wanna add, is I wanna add a flag up here. So I'm thinking if we add a fence gate here, going up. I'm so good at this game. Oh, you know what this could turn into? It could turn into a windmill. I didn't even think about that, but that could look good. Well, windmill, the best block to use is wool. And we do have 30, but I'm thinking that's not gonna be enough. So let's grab some more. 55 is probably good enough. Now exactly how I make a windmill, I don't know how. But we'll figure it out. I think it's something that goes like two out and then two up and then something like that. I don't think that's how you make a windmill. Something like that could work, but we need to connect it all together and maybe do an outline of spruce fences. Then I'm thinking we do something like this to connect it up. There, that looks a lot better. I can't hit this baby zombie, bro. No. Whoa. 360. Oh, that, I failed that. Oh my gosh, I'll just burn you alive. How about that? <laughs> How did- Whoa. There's like 30 zombies, bro. I'm not kidding. Look at my screen. Bro. This is the second time there's been like 40 zombies. There's two ways we could build this house. It's either we could have just roofs on the sides, or we can have roofs on the sides and the front and back, similar to that house. Now with the anisite we have, we can place it as the roof. And we are out. Womp womp. Luckily, if I go down here, we have some anisite. And creepers. That creeper is walking forward and trying to blow me up. 
all the stairs are placed down. Now we just need slabs. So let's go down here. In here. And grab like 20. I don't know how much. A lot. Now something that I think could look good is probably granite. Granite. That was so easy to find. Whoa! Oh, there's flint. Well, there's that house done. This is like a church thingy. I don't know. The sea lamps would look cool behind that. Huh. Now, while we wait for these trees to grow, we'll just mine down this house. You know, I actually changed my mind. We're gonna take down all these houses. Like, this house right here we can take down. And there goes my house. I'm on fire. There's this weird looking house speed run. You guys need to get in a hole. Also, guys, look who I found. And he sells Nautilus shells. I was able to buy only five, though. I don't know what this design is, but it looks cool, so we're keeping it. Now, because I accidentally crafted slabs, we're gonna just use slabs for the roof. That's a lot of slabs. I hate phantoms. Go away. <laughs> I killed him by fist, bro. Oh, there's a creeper! Now, as you see, my armor is almost completely broken. Like, my helmet's at 55 durability. So we're gonna get him breaking. So I may or may not impulsively take in Feather Falling 4 for 19 emeralds, which is probably the worst decision I ever could have done, because now I can't get them breaking and my armor's about to break. Stop it! But luckily I did find a zombie villager. So hopefully this drops an apple. It did, it dropped an apple. I'm the luckiest person alive. Now, since I have seven Unbreaking Books, we can add it to my armor and Elytra. Unbreaking has been acquired. Oh, I slept! Luckily, I've only played for like one day, so it should be good. Just casually repairing my Elytra. Aww. Okay, well, there's a couple things we need to do before I end the episode. Is we need to create a wall around this, so no mobs get in to destroy it. And kill the villagers. But mostly destroy it. So let's first create an outline right here. Okay, well now we're gonna layer this up by two. So each wall has a layer of two. That was literally a stack of logs and I'm already out. Okay, that wall's actually not bring it to together that bad. And there is the wall officially done. Now there's a couple things I need to do, like I need to add torches, so let's real quick go do that. Pretty much is lit up, so let's now just place some of these fences in the entrance so it's blocked off. Just like that. And there is the entire village officially done. It is looking really good. We'll upgrade it a lot more in future episodes. But for the resources I have, I've done pretty good on this build. Anyway, subscribe so I can reach 10,000 by May 4th. It would be awesome. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Episode 2.